Well, that issue aside, this championship comes at a time when a new version of the sport aimed at getting youngsters into the game is spreading across the UK. It's back, and amateurs will be queuing up for a pot in snooker clubs across the country. But how do you persuade more youngsters and school pupils to abandon the football and rugby pitches and to come inside to get to know snooker? This is the answer. Make the snooker table bigger, put it on its side and get rid of the snooker balls and the cues and use footballs and basketballs instead. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Uh, you can. Yes, you can. Can I kick it? It's called Street Snooker, and since it launched earlier this year, it's estimated 7,000 people have tried it, not only in schools, but also on housing estates. There may be no queue in sight, but World Snooker sees this as a way of getting a new generation introduced to the concepts of this game at grassroots level. The aim of Street Snooker is to get more kids actually understanding what the name snooker is, what the game is, learning the basic rules, so then hopefully they'll join the snooker club and have a go themselves at a real game. So the scoring is the same as in snooker. We first of all have three goes to go for the red. Can I kick it? Yes, I OK, that's the red, got the red, so now it's up to the spinner to determine where I'm going to go for my first colour from. So spin the wheel. So the spinner has spun the square, which means I've got to now aim for my first colour from this difficult position, actually. Let's go for the blue, I think. Oh, so close, so close. It's certainly opened their eyes to uh, an activity that maybe they've not tried before, or maybe that they don't even have access to. I thought snooker was boring, because it just seemed like you were just potting bunnies in, but it gives a new experience. I, I never knew, like, like the rules about it. How could it could be fun. Snooker's quiet, but this is more active and fun. I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more. I'd like to start playing a bit of regular snooker normally as well. And if they do go on to pick up a queue, snooker is the winner. Well, it's not just the football club at this school who've used it to improve overall accuracy. Basketball and javelin players have benefited too. There are so many different scenarios. For instance, here, Alex is snookered, so he has to shoot from the S spot, uh, but uh, Bradley gets to stand in his way, and I'm going to help him snooker Alex. He's got to go for the blue. If he gets it, he's won the game. Going for the blue. Oh, it's just below. So uh, it's victory for the other team. I'm glad I was the second human snooker there, because mm. <laughs> it's quite daunting when you're standing there waiting for the ball to be kicked at you. A little mm. bit different to the real uh, snooker snookers, if you like. Uh, but it, it, was, it may not look like the real game of snooker, but it really got the, um, the pupils there learning the scoring system, the numeracy skills as well, how you go for the reds and the colours, which they really hadn't come across before. No.